So work, is it a boon or a bane? Every one of us in this room work in one shape or form. And most of us, or many of us, really feel that work is a burden, it's a bane. It's not something to be enjoyed. It's not something to celebrate. So when you read that word, what comes up for you? Are you happy? Are you excited? Are you enthused? You know, these smiling faces above us, are you sad, worried, or confused? One of the two. Most people, you know, all the studies today say that a vast majority of people are disengaged from the work they do. It, it's been measured a million ways, and that's because they define work as three things or four things. It's worry or a waste of time. It's an obligation. It's ridiculous sometimes, and it's risky. And lastly, it's competitive with a K. So work is not a happy place. So that's the status of most of the people in the United States who work. Now, there's another way to do this. There is a real possibility. And I would like to define work using a different spelling, with W meaning wide, O meaning an opportunity, to R, really know yourself. Most people don't approach work that way, but that's what it truly is, because every issue comes up in the course of work. So you can go on this slide from, if you look at from this, most businesses look like this, particularly when things are problems or problematics or a challenge. So there is a way to move to the right. There is a way to move to celebration and a place for exploration. But here's the killer. It's all under your control. So you may not think that. You may say it's because of business or your boss, et cetera. No, but your attitude and your experience of work is a function of the decisions that you make, literally moment by moment. So in the marketing world, and most of us walk around with a concept called WIFM, which in the marketing world means what's in it for me. And that yields the traditional roles. In our society, most people work because of money, and safety, and family, family, and obligation, and all of this stuff. And if you look on the chart, the last thing was personal growth. So let's change that from what's in it for me for a wonderful instance in finding me or finding we. And if you end up using work as a place, as a platform to experience yourself fully, it truly can become this. So what, is, what does that mean? Well, if you really take a look at work and use that as a platform for growth, the first thing you're going to say, hey, this is a place for personal growth. It's a place for community. It's a place for companionship. Of course, you need to take care of money and family and all the rest of that. But essentially, it's the place to show up. So what do we bring to work? You know, Most people say, well, I put my time in. I put energy in. And my boss wants me to know things. But you know what? The most important factor that you bring to work, believe it or not, is your attitude. And you're going to know that for a moment. So it's all, from my perspective, attitude is everything. You can teach skills to people. You can change the time around. But attitude is what infuses a can-do kind of mentality and actually a sense of fun. So it's really possible. And we're going to get to that in a second. So, as we move along. So what creates your attitudes? People say, well, we use this word all the time. Well, it's really comprised of four things. It's your beliefs, it's your opinions, it's your fears, and it's core values. Now, as we all know in the realm of psychology, much of this is created without a conscious choice on your part. You know, some of it you got as a child, etc. But these infuse your point of view in the world. So let's talk about what the attitude of, or what the effects of attitude is on work. Your boss gives you a stack of things and say, do this. So he puts a stack of stuff there. You look at this stack and you're like, oh my god, this is a pain. You filter that view towards, well, gee, I'm not going to get this done on time, or I could fail, or I don't know how to approach this. And in any event, you're stuck. It's kind of like demonstration. Uh, when you go, anybody's a skier in this room, they know when they approach a mountain, there is two types of ways of looking at it. If you're a beginner, you're, you're full of fear, you're full of trepidation, and if you're an expert, you're very certain about it. So what do you do when you're faced with that? The first thing you do is you try to be present. You try to say, what am I doing? And you say, what am I really skiing on? You're not skiing to the bottom, you're skiing to the next three feet in front of you. And you deal with the immediate challenge. So by focusing on the short term, you know, you end up having a possibility of getting to the bottom. 
So the keys in redefining a task is the first thing is you got to ask and analyze. You got to say, well, okay, I'm on the top of this mogul. How far do I have to go? You don't look down a quarter of a mile. You look right in front of you. Ask and you analyze. You notice then your feelings. You say, okay, I got a choice. Then I can say, you know what? I'm going to draw a line in the sand and I'm, or there's a line in the snow, and I'm going to go for it. So I make a choice to go over that little mogul. And guess what happens? For most people, you make it, and you make it in spades. And you do the next mogul and the next mogul. And at the bottom of it, you know, you, you find yourself at a sense of exhilaration. The same things happen, by the way, in work. So you, you achieve something, you go, hey, that wasn't that bad. And so diving in creates kind of this sense of power of now, which is right present right now. So this is what happens at the, at the, the mound, you faced it, et cetera. They're, they're high-fiving each other. They're celebrating. They're actually com communicating and connecting as well. So out of that experience, they created a relationship where one once was none. And that happens every time you do something in work, believe it or not. So work, it's your choice. You can be sad, worried, or confused, or you can be happy, excited, and enthused. It always comes down to, what do I tell myself about this task that's in front of me, and can I have some fun with it? And that's the opportunity that I think we all have as human beings. So thank you. <laughs>